Welcome to MJ Tabletop Creations and Games, folks. Uh, this is the final video on the ship project that I uh, started last week. It was my project of the week last week. And this week, I'm actually uh, putting on the sails, and I put on all the rigging. So uh, let me show you what I've so done. So first things first, you see all of the rigging right here. I, I did uh, a lot of it. Um, there's some rigging over here as well, behind all the sails. Okay, and here is the uh, crow's nest. It's a working crow's nest. You can actually fit a figure on there. And uh, one of the, the things that I really want to show, one of the techniques is I'm using this uh, line here. This is hemp. And uh, I use this for the rigging. But in many areas, I also use uh, some floral wire, and this is green floral wire, and I use it in areas like this, okay, and this helps to not only reinforce the hemp, but it, it allows me to, to shape it and tighten it. Uh, it really works very well, and it, it works to help connect the hemp to uh, whatever attachment point there is. But more importantly, it creates a, a rigidness here on the line so that I can attach sails. Now, my sails, um, I could have hot glued them and it would take a lot less time, but I decided not to. I decided to go the extra mile and actually weave the floral wire right through the felt. This is white felt. And... Uh, Weave it through and connect the sail uh, this that way. This is producing uh, a much stronger sail and much less sloppy. I think with the hot glue it would be very sloppy. So you can see the uh, wire here is twirled around the line, the hemp line. That creates nice rigidness. And then I can attach these sails. Okay, so let me show you very quickly how I do this. I'm going to puncture the felt just like you would with a needle and string and just pull my uh, floral wire right through make sure it's nice and tight and that's how I do that and that secures the sail to the rope that I'm using to the line rather okay so I'll do that again and just make sure that it's nice and straight not necessarily straight, but nice and tight, really. Okay, so it's basically like sewing. And that is how I attach my sails to the masts and to the uh, hemp lines that represent the rigging. Sewing with wire. There it is. Okay. And you can see here, uh, here's a sail attachment right onto that mast. Okay, and that's a triangular sail, and it's a little bit at an angle. Okay, and I'm not trying to replicate anything historical with this model. This is a gaming model. So, uh, just want to give it some detail. And here is another wire piece, and that's connecting this uh, triangular sail, the forward triangular sail. So there I'm giving you a view of the ship. And this comes off. So you have a chamber in there for figures or objective markers, whatever the case may be. Um, the little wheel still turns. This is the steering wheel. This comes off. And this is the rear sail. And this comes off. And there's a little chamber right in there. You can put stuff in there. Here's my uh, little handmade lantern for the sides. I still have to finish painting that. Here's the rudder sail. And the rudder sail actually turns. Uh, that's a detail that really doesn't matter um, in gaming. But it's there, so why not? Uh, this line can actually come off so that I can remove this. This sail, this whole mast is removable. So if we need more space on the deck or whatever. But I think I'm going to keep the masts and the sails on. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to remove them. The uh, little rowboat 
is also removable and you can put figures on it. And here is the uh, wire as I'm attaching it to the mast. This is the rudder mast, so I have to finish down here. So that technique has really helped um, attach the sails and doing it in a way that's a little more realistic and less sloppy. I think it really helps the model. And here are all the little cannon for the ship. These are all handmade and these are optional. You don't have to have them on the ship, but they certainly are going to look really cool uh, with all when they're all finished and they're all spread across the deck. Some of them uh, will go inside a couple of the chambers, like there's a, a real a rear uh, gun here that goes in there so it's a pretty cool detail again it's optional but it's gonna uh, make the ship look very very cool and I'm almost finished painting them a very interesting model to use in our tabletop games thank you folks and if you haven't seen the other videos on how I started this uh, look at Look into my uh, YouTube channel and the playlist for Gaming Terrain. You'll see all the videos there. Or on my Facebook channel with the same name. And there she is. Almost complete.